Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about how you can create your very own website from scratch. So when I started my very first hustle, which must have been five plus years ago, I realized that I needed a website but I really wasn't sure where to begin. And luckily for me I watched a couple of tutorials online which all showed you how to build a website using Wix and that was kind of my tool of choice from there on out and I haven't looked back. I'm really Really excited to be doing this video for you guys today about how simple it is to get started with your website build using Wix and a very big thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video I am a proud user of their products I have absolutely no qualms endorsing it to my friends my family and my colleagues it really is an awesome product and I've even got a link for you guys to click down below so I hope that this kind of helps you put yourself out there and really get excited and inspired about creating your very own website if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So in terms of getting started with Wix, you can either type Wix into Google or you can just go to Wix.com and you will see a option to create a new site, which is what you guys are going to do. Then for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a portfolio and CV website because this is one of my favorite websites. It's so versatile and there's not a single person that I know that wouldn't benefit from having a portfolio site. And you're going to select the option on the right hand side, create your website with the editor. And here you can really have so much room to play in terms of what you're looking for, the aesthetic of your business, getting it on brand in terms of like color, functionality and all that. Um, it really makes it a dream. So you can either select view and see it over here or you can click view and then view full demo. So I'm going to open both of those tabs up. So the demo view is so useful because obviously you can have quite an extensive squiz in terms of whether it's going to cover the need that you have or not. And if you have selected edit then it's going to take you into the editor to actually edit that particular template obviously the closer the fit of the template the shorter it's going to take to build your site so i do often get questions around how long does it take to build a website well honestly it really depends how organized or disorganized you are if you have your content like sorted and waxed then it is so quick i always find that that's actually where the bulk of your time gets spent as opposed to like building the actual website itself but it just really depends on you and how, how many hours you commit to it. I think I built my website in probably a day or two, but it was kind of like a full on like weekend, whereas other people might be doing it, you know, evenings and so forth. So you will then see a screen like this. And we're just going to hide some of these other features just so you guys get a full screen view. So. Basically what it is when you hit on it is it's kind of like they call it a WYSIWYG CMS So what you see is what you get and that means that you are literally going to be dragging and dropping elements onto this page and No coding is required. So that's really cool about Wix and I think it's made building websites so much more accessible to a lot of us non very technical people so here if you click the drop down you can see that this website only has one page and actually what they've done is really clever it's like a parallax scroll site so when you click my vlog it would actually just drop you down to the my vlog section the my story section and then her on instagram and so these blue handles that you see are actually what's known as anchors so instead of taking you to a new page each time it's just taking you to a different anchor so that is a really cool and like modern way of doing your site and I see a lot of people, especially if you don't have lots of content, it makes a lot of sense. You just wouldn't have a URL per specific page. So if you were driving media, for example, it would always land on the same page, but like no problem if it's for a CV site. So here you can see that every element is like seriously drag and drop. It's a very responsive kind of builder. Like I've built with other builders before and, and noticed i mean not just from a website perspective but when you're like building emails and stuff and sometimes it's a bit clunky but this is like super responsive um and then you can see obviously the backgrounds as well you just swap out the images and it can look completely different 
So let's, for example, select change strip background. And one of the other really cool things about Wix is it has quite an extensive assortment of stock photography. So if you maybe are still in the process of building your brand and you don't necessarily have super high res quality photos of yourself, like she has, you can actually just use maybe a bit more of a generic one. And then in terms of like deleting elements, if they're not maybe as applicable to you, like for example, uh, let's say we don't want to have the video section, you would literally just hit delete. But because I obviously love making videos and I would be very likely to use that functionality, I can just hit undo. And then what you're working with on the sideline here is a vertical menu that's broken down into pages, which I'll show you basically just shows you all the pages that you've created on your site. But as I've explained, this one only has one. Then background is the page background. I typically just build with white, but totally up to you and your brand. And then the strips are kind of the sections. So I found that strips are really nice because as I say, if your background was white, you could like break it up with like a gray section and a pop of color and like really introduce like a modular kind of approach to your site without having to make the whole site like bright blue, for example. You can just have accents with these strips. Um, and you can see there's a variety of different ways in which people use this. It could be a strip for contacting them, um, a welcome section, a services section, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of that piece. Then in terms of all these other elements, I mean, there are so, so many, but I'll just show you some of my favorites. I think lists and grids is really helpful. So this would allow you, for example, to add a piece of functionality that lets you book different guest houses. I mean, not totally applicable in this instance, but let's say, for example, you are a photographer and you want to actually have someone to put your packages, you can do that here. Um, so that's a really nice one. That was the lists and grids functionality. But I mean, all of them are super handy. Gallery, if you wanted to add images, video and music, if you want to embed a YouTube video, um, menu, which allows you to change the look and feel of this top um, menu navigation bar, and then social, which directs to all your social media elements. Um, and then another major kind of draw card for me is like the blogging functionality on Wix is so straightforward. So if, for example, you were to select blog here, you can say add to site and it'll add like a whole kind of separate section of your site, which is just dedicated to your blog. And this can be a password protected, like a members area, or it can just be a regular blog. So I love using just the blog section and here you'll see it's so simple to create a post and then also obviously manage your posts as well. So um, a blog is great because it allows you that opportunity to keep your website super refreshed um, and always have somewhere to direct people to. So maybe your latest newsletter wants to click through to something quite specific, then obviously the blog post functionality is so amazing because you can dedicate a whole blog post just to the offer that you're running at that time. And here you would literally enter the title, your post, um, the SEO settings are really comprehensive. So here you would enter all the CEO, all the SEO stuff and categories, um, categories is just a way of grouping your different blog um, elements. So for example, I could say YouTube is one of mine. Then I could say maybe lifestyle, maybe travel and so on. And then this creates a beautiful kind of filtering mechanism for you so that people can easily find the content that pertains to that keyword. And then you would simply pop your content in here. You would then go into the tag functionality, which allows you to add tags, which is super handy from an SEO perspective again. And then finally, if you wanted to sell subscriptions, then it would allow you to add paywalls or pay gates to your blog section. So honestly, the blog thing just does it for me. I think it's such a brilliant piece of functionality within the Wix platform. Cool. In terms of other functionality that is super handy, so media, you can add any kind of media that you would like, 
whether that is the stock photography that I mentioned, your own photography, and um, there's also a really cool section for free Wix videos. And so often people will actually have videos as you hit their sites, which I think looks so beautiful. And um, then here's the blog functionality, which I've shown you guys. The content manager, which allows you to do some really, really cool things in terms of connecting data sets. So if, for example, and this maybe is less applicable to beginners, but people who are maybe a bit more fair with the platform, you can actually create dynamic pages, which instead of you coding the page within its entirety, it's actually referencing a data point um, or a database. Um, and I must say, I've really, really enjoyed learning how to do this because for some sites, um, you may have more than 100 pages and that's the limit of pages that you can have with normal kind of static pages on Wix. So definitely one to kind of park, but know in the back of your mind that that is 100% possible. And then Ascend by Wix is a great kind of suite of options from a marketing, SEO, um, customer management, finance and analytics perspective. So they really make it so super straightforward for you. And once you've kind of had a play around and just made sure that you're super happy with your kind of layout, then what you're going to want to do is actually switch to mobile view. And once you switch to mobile view, Wix does its absolute best of making sure that everything is going to render beautifully on a mobile, but there'll definitely be some elements that you would want to hide or maybe tweak, um, which is kind of a more manual process, but it's also still quick because things like, for example, the video example, maybe you think to yourself like, gee, I don't want to use lots of people's data, so I'm not going to have the video on mobile, but I do want to have it on desktop, then it's as simple as hiding an element. And so when you click on a specific item, like let me go to the homepage, for example, this, for argument's sake, could be a loading video. All you would do is click that eyeball and it would hide that whole section. In terms of changing the header navigation, so if you click on the header navigation and you click the design little item, it gives you all these different options in terms of exactly how you want it to look and how you want it to function. They all function a little bit different. So some will be like a drop down, some will be the fact that you actually have to click on it and so on. So it really is super customizable and I'd say that that is really where the joy in Wix lies is your imagination really does feel like the limit because anything that you're wanting to kind of recreate it's so super possible between the elements and the widgets and the hex codes that i've just obviously shown you and then the different custom fonts so there's nothing that feels like oh it looks in a certain way and i don't really love how it looks like everything is customizable and everything can look exactly as you're wanting it to look so i hope that that really broke things down for you guys and that you're feeling inspired to create your very own website because it doesn't matter whether you're a youtuber a beauty blogger a small business owner a kick-ass website is really the beginning of your journey online and I must say that Wix makes it so easy so I've popped that referral link down below so that you guys can click it and just get started with the platform if you have any questions obviously please reach out and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so now as well if you found this video helpful I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button and I cannot wait to see you guys next week so that we can continue to do digital better I can help you out I can